If you want to make a punched holes and thread sketchbook, you will need, again, about six to eight sheets of um, computer paper, construction paper, a pencil for punching the holes, and if you don't have any thread on hand, you can literally use dental floss. So I'm gonna use that today. All right, step one, take your paper, fold it in half, crease it, Again, you can always crease it with scissors to make it nice and tight. Do the same for the cover. Crease. Place it inside. And now, you want to open this up. You want to take your pencil and make two little marks where you want to punch your holes. You're going to get, do just two. So I'm gonna go in about maybe an inch and a half from the edge. And this is probably the trickiest part. Um, but, so you just wanna hold it clamped. So I'm gonna hold it clamped here with one hand while the other hand um, is taking my pencil, putting it right on the hole, just kinda of working it in there. might take a little bit of time and I finally punch a little hole put the pencil all the way in takes a little bit of working and then you want to get it to where the um, the pencil goes all the way in so that you have a big hole and um, it makes it easy to put the floss through do the same thing on this other side Be careful you're not punching your finger in this part. Got it? And now you're ready for your thread. Take it off. I'm gonna get maybe a little more than a foot. And when you're putting the dental floss through the hole, I like to just kind of um, make a little tab at the end instead of using the raw end. So I'm so it kind of goes in more like a needle. Place it through the hole. I'm trying to pinch it on the other side, pull it through. Do the same thing with this tail. Pinch it. Try to punch it through the hole. If you have a tiny hole, just always put your pencil back in, make it a little bit bigger so it's easier. a little bit bigger because it's giving me some trouble. All right, let's try again. And there we go. Okay, so now my threads are on both sides. Just kind of crease it again so it's nice and secure. And now we're literally going to tie this together like shoestrings. So, just like you tie your shoes. You can have a friend put their finger on that knot right there or on that little tie, but you can also just do it yourself. I'm gonna make mine into a bow, but you could just make this into a knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. If it's too loose, your book is going to kinda come apart. Don't want this knot to come apart, so do a double knot. Tie the loops again and Let's check to make sure it's tight. Go to the center of the book. Yep, that's nice and tight, and you are done.